What's going on YouTube? This is Ricky J and welcome to the 1990 Royal Rumble in Orlando, Florida. What we're going to do in this video, we're going to take you back to the 1990 Rumble. We're going to put the same wrestlers in the exact same order inside this Rumble that you're about to see and let's see if Hulk Hogan is going to win again. All right? I cannot wait. Oh my gosh, man. I want to thank you guys so much for being here. If you haven't subbed up, please sub up, man. It'll mean a lot to me on this channel. We always like to bring back nostalgic memories and showcase fun, fun combat sports and sports in general encounters. So here we go, man. Oh my gosh. So the 1990 Rumble, apparently it was all set out for Mr. Perfect to win it all and everybody knew that Mr. Perfect was going to win it apparently and then in the last minute Hulk Hogan wanted to change the script and then Hogan ended up winning spoiler alert so that's quite sad because for this Royal Rumble there was no incentive really to win it nobody got a ticket to Wrestlemania nobody got a title shot so it would have been nice to just get somebody else to win you know what I mean Hogan was already at the top of his game and um, I'm kind of biased here saying this because Mr. Perfect is on my Mount Rushmore favorite four wrestlers of all time and mind you Hulk Hogan is on my Mount Rushmore as well if you're wondering my top four favorite wrestlers of all time you know a brother Perfect Hogan Ravishing Rick Rude and Macho Man Randy Savage, uh-huh, let me tell you something right now, yeah. The most overrated thing is more overrated than my dinner, yeah, don't tell my wife on that one, yeah. Hulk Hogan, overrated than ever, I could body slam him, I could give him the one, two, three, any time, any place, anywhere. Come at you if you dare, Oh yeah, yeah. But anyway, yeah, so that's my Mount Rushmore, I've asked you in the previous video, and I, if you have an answer, let me know. Your Mount Rushmore, and I will reply to every single one of you. How about this? Coco Beware. And Coco Beware was one of my dad's favorite wrestlers. I've said this before, man. He was instant good vibes. And when Coco Beware would be on your screen, he would just put you in such a great mood. What was the name of the parrot? I keep on forgetting his name. It wasn't Daryl. What <laughs> was it? Oh, I'm totally butchering it. But let me know. Oh, what was his name? Oh, it was it was like a a name of a human being is oh man. But anyway, let's get to the action right here. So Ted DiBiase came in late in the '89 Rumble, and look at that, he's coming in early. They're like, you know what, DiBiase, you got to work your magic, and you got to get to work early on in this Rumble. Nice DDT. Here comes Marty Jannetty, and I love Marty Jannetty, man. He's one of my favorite wrestlers ever. He's in, I got to say, he's in definitely in my top 10 favorite wrestlers of all time. And Marty Jannetty didn't really last very long. Oh, no, no. Oh, but Jannetty doesn't really have the strength. And Ted DiBiase caught fire in the, in the 90 Rumble, man. He definitely caught, rumble, uh, caught fire. <laughs> he caught Rumble, that's for sure. Because he... He eliminated Coco Beware and Jannetty, but here comes Jake the Snake. Jake the Snake Roberts at number four. Oh, look at that, man. What a great move there by Jannetty. But Jake the Snake already stunned. Doesn't know what happened here. And I'm telling you, oh, see how Jannetty was trying to go to the top rope. That's when Jannetty is at his best when he could utilize the top rope and just kind of keep on moving around. But right now he's in some trouble. Nice job by Jannetty. The baby oil is helping him. Here comes the Macho Man. And Macho Man, geez, he didn't last very long inside this Rumble. And um, I always love to watch the actual Rumble before I make this video. And I'm telling you, man, he was out way too soon. And it would have been cool if he had an encounter with Hogan and Warrior, you know, but the WWE, they wanted to set up 
Hogan and Warrior, WrestleMania 6, Toronto. That's where I'm from. So, um, yeah, I wanted to tell you, here comes Rowdy Rowdy Piper. But in these rumbles back in the day in the 80s and 90s, the heels only fought the baby faces. The baby faces only fought the heels. And the coolest part was when Hogan and Warrior were the only two left in the ring. And they actually battled each other out for a moment until uh, Barbarian came in to ruin that. But um, it was just so odd as a kid seeing them squaring off for the first time inside this Royal Rumble. And um, shout outs to Jesse the Body for his commentary when it happened. Nobody moves! <laughs> And then, oh, man, he was so cool. You got to go back and watch it. But anyway, Warlord, who didn't last very long <laughs> in 89. And let's see how he lasts in this one. Oh, there goes Jake the Snake. Now, Warlord, somebody mentioned in the comments in the previous video that they said Barbarian Warlord were like the cheap version of the Legion of Doom, Hawk and Animal. <laughs> and I kind of agree with that. Did they ever have a tag team match? Uh, Legion of Doom versus the Barbarian and Warlord. What's this? We got the stars. Oh, it's hot pink Bret Hart. <laughs> yeah, so I wanted to get an all pinked out Bret Hart because back in 1990, he came in. Holy cow, loving the pink. And um, I love the Hart Foundation, the pink and black attack. I would say they're my second favorite tag team of all time. Number one is the Rockers, Marty Jannetty, Shawn Michaels. And I don't know, maybe number two is the Heart Foundation. I also loved the Killer Bees when I was a young buck. Um, they were a great team as well. But anyway, Jannetty may be done here. We haven't seen an elimination. And here comes Bad News Brown. And I'm telling you, Bad News Brown, back in the day, I used to just be so terrified of this guy. He uh, he had the, the best, like, stank look. <laughs> oh, my gosh, too funny. But how about this matchup? Bret Hart and Macho Man Randy Savage. Yeah. Tell you what right now, yeah. I'll be cheering for the Macho Man. And I like Bret Hart. I really did. I, I would say um, Bret Hart is in my uh, top ten for sure as well. Jannetty, Bret Hart, man, I, get, I just need, like, what? Four more guys <laughs> to round out my uh, favorite wrestlers. I got to think about that. Maybe you'll know more later on. But anyway, back to the action. Coco, beware. Got to beware of his skills. No, we do have an elimination. Jake the Snake got eliminated. Yeah, what am I talking about? But anyway, right now, you got Piper. Oh, here we go. And these two right here, Savage and Piper, man. Baby faces, heels, heels, baby faces. You didn't know what side they were on. But uh, that's what I loved about Savage is his um, fearless mentality. He didn't care what anybody thought. He was a wild man, and that's what made me just love him. He's my favorite wrestler of all time, Macho Man Randy Savage. And I'm telling you, one day I would love to visit his grave um, just to pay respect. And I'm telling you, I don't cry, man. I could see myself bawling my eyes out um, with that experience, man. Much love to Savage. He'll forever be alive in my heart and hopefully in all your hearts as well. But how about that? Talking about Savage, he gets a great elimination, el eliminating Coco Beware. And now Janetti trying to go uh, and attack him right there. And... Savage is so smart, he just knows when to break, knows when to find those moments to pause. And now, I'm telling you, Marty Jannetty, he doesn't need Shawn Michaels, man. He is doing fantastic. And I always wonder with Jannetty, after the Rockers had that fallout, how come Marty didn't last very long inside the WWE? Now, he wasn't the best on the mic, but the ladies loved him, and the guys liked him too, and he was so talented. He was so talented. Seeing them coming down, it was like watching a rock concert. Remember when they would come down? Love their music. Their music was kind of like the Warriors music in a way. Kind of not the same, but very similar indeed. But let's see who's coming in now. Who is... Oh, no. No, Jannetty. No. Dusty Rhodes. 
The American dream. Oh, no. That would have been wild if Marty Jannetty could have gone all the way, man. That's why when we do these rumbles, I always say it, man. I only record one time, and what it, what you see is what you get. You know what I mean? There's no multiple recordings. That's what makes these videos fun. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. But I would have loved to see Jannetty going all the way. I would have gone nuts. But anyway, back to the action. I like how Savage has been in there for quite some time. Macho Man usually doesn't do well inside these rumbles just because he's undersized compared to the rest of the field. But right now, he's finding his way to just stay in there. Find a way to just stay in that middle of the ring and, and know when to rest. Bret Hart's still in there as well. Nice little side slam by the Hitman as these guys are kind of slowing down. Here comes Andre the Giant at 11. And Andre always likes to get his arms stuck against the ropes. And um, he does that every time he gets to a rumble. But right now, he has Bret Hart hoisted up and he throws him down. And now, look at this. Oh, that, what was that to the tag team? Ted DiBiase and Andre the Giant. They were kind of working together right there. But Macho Man says, you know what? I'm not going to let you guys work together. And now Savage could be in some trouble here nobody help Piper nobody help Piper please please okay come on you could stay in there brother he's hanging on there he goes signature savage elbows to the shins and look at bad news Brown oh he's in a tough spot there bad news working against warlord and Ted DiBiase and now oh how about that unthinkable team savage and the Million Dollar Man teaming up together with that nice little neck breaker. As right now, look at this. Could Dusty Rhodes eliminate Andre? Oh, smart move by the big guy. Andre the Giant, and you cannot run inside this ring during a rumble. Don't these guys learn, man? Dusty Rhodes was just way too amped up. He was way too amped up, and and that Dusty Rhodes, I would have liked to have seen that version of Dusty, with the with the polka dots on the tights, but that's okay, man. That is definitely okay. But let's get back to the action. Bret Hart, not known for his upper body strength, does not get Piper out of there, and Piper spearing him with the fingers, and now Ted DiBiase. <laughs> Holy cow! And Andre, what were they called? The Mega Bucks? I think they were called the Megabucks. Now they're working against each other. What shenanigans that we're seeing right here, man. I got to tell you, on a side note, I had sushi for dinner. I know this is very random. And um, I had way too much soy sauce. I am so thirsty. I feel like I'm stranded. Here comes the Red Roost. I feel like I'm stranded in a desert just searching for water. But I can't. I can't go get water right now. <laughs> but how about this? Savage and Ted DiBiase eliminate. Bad news, Brown. Now who's going to get the advantage? Ted DiBiase. And for all you guys that do not know, um, for the previous Rumbles that we did, we're going to put them all in the ring at the end and do a one final like Ultimate Rumble Champions, uh, Champions Rumble. So can't wait for that. Warlord is done. Savage. Now with the knee lift on Bret Hart. You got Piper in there. You got the Red Rooster. These guys are working hard. And look at this atomic drop there by Piper. And now a nice little, what was he, it was like an eye poke there on Andre. And look at Brett the Hitman. Going with the right hands. Oh, whoa. what is that called? A little, uh, I don't even know what that move's called. There's a fireman's carry there by Brett. Brett doing a nice job, but Andre's lingering around. Andre's waiting for an opportunity. Nice back body drop there by the million dollar man who's already won. He won the last one. Spoiler alert, he won the last one. Demolition Axe at 13. And now look at this. Could Piper do it? Axe turns his back on him. Oh, Axe didn't want anything to do with Piper eliminating Ted DiBiase. And here we go, Bret Hart. See, I think this Bret Hart AI is so smart because 
he's not going after guys that are bigger than him, you know? He's going after guys that he feels that he has the uh, technical edge. And um, he's very successful so far. Here comes Haku at 14. Haku rolling in at 14. Nice job by Brett grabbing the neck, but then he's got to watch out for Haku with a headbutt to the back of the neck. You got Axe working on Macho Man. And Macho's in a full sweat. He's exhausted. I don't know if Macho has much left. Somebody said in the pre in a previous video that I should be taking the um, health bars off at the bottom. Let me know if you want to see me taking those off. Look at the Hitman picking up Haku and tossing him out. But yeah, if I take the the health bars out, then I'll make it for a more of a tele televised style presentation. So let me know. Axe survives. Piper trying to eliminate him. You got Savage and the Rooster. You got Bret Hart and Piper. Oh, nice jumping knee to the face. Hey, that was like Triple H. Oh, a nice drop kick there by Piper. Piper showcasing uh, a nice little repertoire of skills here. But now, on the receiving end, nice suplex there by Axe. Very technical, very precise. And now, <laughs> look at him. It's like the worst back massage, shoulder massage. <laughs> Andre doesn't like it. No. No. Savage. Oh, there goes the rooster. Oh, man. Savage was in there for a while. He's looking around saying, how could I get eliminated? Here comes Demolition Smash at 15. Here we go. Look at Smash and Axe staring at each other. Are we going to see a little demolition tag team action? And Smash going right by his tag team partner, deciding to go after Ted DiBiase. Oh, no. Oh, no. 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 These two guys. Oh, man. The friendship is over. Oh, nice job by Andre. You're not taking out my buddy. Wow, Andre saved Ted DiBiase. And now Andre needs no help as he eliminated... Piper and now we got a little bit of a tag team action and Bret Hart tiny little Bret throwing Andre oh nice knee there by Bret but Bret's trying to just uh, get himself away from Andre now he's going after Axe smash working on Ted DiBiase here comes the African dream Akeem let me know in the comments did you like Akeem the character or did you like the One Man Gang better? In my opinion, I love the One Man Gang better than Akeem. But let me know. But then you didn't get the dance moves of Akeem, the African Dream. But anyway, back to the action. DDT by Smash. Who are we going to see in here, right here, right now? Nice spear there by Axe. Superfly Jimmy Snuka. Superfly Jimmy Snuka. Rolling in. A knee to the, to the face. To the hitman. And Bret Hart. Nice job by Bret. Nice job, Bret. Learning from his papa in cold Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Inside that dungeon. Stu Hart. What are they called? Stu Hart's dungeon? Oh, my gosh. But Bret Hart's doing great, man. This is a young Bret Hart, too. He's eliminated Axe. Here comes Dino Bravo. Dino Bravo, Smash survives. I, was, I thought we were going to see Axe and Smash eliminated together. Oh, no, there goes Brett. Ted DiBiase is a real problem inside these Rumbles. We saw him last time, and you know what he did last time. And look at that, the Villain Dollar Dream. Oh, there goes Smash. Quick eliminations, and the big boys staying in there. Wow, nice slam by Andre, trapping the arm. And now the Mega Bucks. I think that's what they were called, the Mega Bucks, right? Teddy Biasi and Andre fighting it out. Nice step in jab there by Snuka, but shoulder charge by Bravo. And Bravo's from Quebec. He's got the Fleur de Lis on his trunks. And Andre is on fire tonight, baby. Throwing Dino Bravo right in your kitchen. And he is out of there. Okay, who's coming in now? Who is coming in now? 
Are we gonna see a Canadian earthquake? Oh my gosh, man. I didn't know till later on, till I was older, that earthquake was Canadian. Even though he would sport sometimes the Canadian flag on his belly. But look at this matchup. Akeem and Earthquake. Would have loved to see that one. And Snuka getting ragdolled by Earthquake. And now Earthquake looking for an opportunity to get on Snuka. But I'm telling you, Akeem is just a little bit more precise here. Oh, man. <laughs> Snuka never has stood a chance. Here comes Jim the Anvil. And Jim the Anvil's got size, but... From what we see inside this ring, he is not going to have the advantage in the size department. And right away, Andre the Giant. Oh, man. I'm surprised I didn't take a lot more power out of him. But now, these tag team partners are fighting against each other. These old friends don't seem to be seeing eye to eye here. So here we go. Who is coming in next, brother? So these are the, it's the exact same old order. So here comes the Ultimate Warrior. And when he came in back in 1990, the whole arena went absolutely berserk. He went, he made that arena go nuts when he came in. Oh, you gotta go back and watch it. But right here, he's having some trouble with Earthquake. As the Ultimate Warrior, oh no. Oh, nice job. He's surviving. Who's coming in now? Warrior winding up with an uppercut. Rick Martel. Rick Martel. And look at this. Oh, Ted DiBiase. Oh, nice kick. He tried to take a break. And then he did a nice job countering on Warrior, but Warrior countered right back. And now Martel taking Warrior for a ride. And same with Akeem's going for a ride. <laughs> what was Andre doing there? It looked like he was trying to remove his trunks or something. What were we seeing right there? Well, here we go. Who's coming in now? Warrior. Oh, Tito Santana. Tito Santana at 23. Let's see Santana work here. Oh, man. Bumped right into Andre. That's not the right thing to bump into. Oh, and wow. Warrior. Uh oh, no. No. And remember what happened last time. Look at this. Look at the anvil. Holy smokes, he's eliminated Andre. But remember last time it was Hulk Hogan that accidentally eliminated the ultimate warrior. And the warrior gets eliminated before Hogan could come in the ring. That is so shocking. Dude, you couldn't have lasted just a little bit longer. Holy cow, man. Holy cow. But what we're seeing right here, we are l pretty late in the rumble, right? The, the next guy coming in, I think, is 24. And Ted DiBiase is still in there. Santana going for a huge ride. As we got two, four, six. We can get two more guys in there. Here comes the countdown. Here comes the countdown. Three, two, one. It's the Honky Tonk Man. It's the Honky Tonk Man. Nice drop kick there by Santana. Here he comes. I'm the Honky Tonk Man. I'm the Honky Tonk Man. I'm cool. I'm bad. I'm great. I don't know the words. <laughs> uh, my mom loved the Honky Tonk Man. Only because she was such an Elvis fan. And he had the Elvis look to him. And she only liked him because he looked like Elvis. Here we go. Who is coming in at 25? Who is coming in at 25? If you've seen the Rumble, you know it's the Hulkster. Cause crashing down and it hurts inside. Look at Hogan. Coming in. Sporting the bandana. Trying to go right after Akeem. Does a nice job with the knee and now working the arm here. Dropping the leg. Nice little technical move there by the Hulkster. So let's see what happens right here. Let's see who is going to take this one. Oh, a shot to the Hulkamaniacs by Ted DiBiase. 
Incredible stuff that we're seeing here, brother. We won't see um, Hogan and Warrior, just the two of them left. Remember, like, that was so cool in the 90s Rumble when all these eliminations were happening. They both eliminated somebody and then they backed into each other and then it was both of them just staring at each other. And like I said, you never really saw the baby faces fighting each other. And in this Rumble, you did. There goes Santana. Tito Santana is done. Rick Martel trying to work his magic. Going after, oh no! Wow, what an elimination. Ted DiBiase, who came in at one, finally got sent out of there. And you gotta hand it to Ted DiBiase, man. That was some great stuff. But anyway, you gotta move on. Boys in the truck are gonna be hitting the timer. And we are going to see who is next. That's Hogan and the Anvil fighting it out. Hogan getting the advantage here. Right hand to the forehead, honky tonk man. Wow. That was, that was so cool, like an inverted, uh, yeah, DDT, man. Holy cow, man. Oh no, my battery on my controller is running low. Code red, code red. I think we'll be all right. I think we'll be all right. So here we go. Who is coming in now, brother? Who is rolling in now? Shawn Michaels. And Shawn Michaels barely lasted inside this rumble, man. It would be so cool if we could see the rocker Shawn Michaels win this thing. Oh, right on the turnbuckle. And now Jim the Anvil may be in some big time trouble. He's hanging on, but usually when guys have the weight advantage, they're usually okay when they're about to get eliminated in a corner, you know? It's when you're massively outweighed when there's gonna be big time problems. Here comes the Barbarian at 27. Barbarian at 27, and the Barbarian was the one that <laughs> ruined that Hogan Warrior encounter, you know? I wish they would have just delayed the next entry a little bit longer. People aren't timing it. But that would have been cool if they just continued to delay it. Look at this. Hogan could be in trouble. Akeem. He's going to throw everything all upside down here. Oh, Hogan survives. And already, Michaels. Slowing down a little. Oh, he tried to work together with Earthquake. That backfired on him. Look at Rick Martel. Does not get Akeem out of there. Stays in it. Is the dream. Nice neck breaker there by Michaels. Jim the Anvil. Oh boy. Oh, one shot. Two shots. Three shots. And the Anvil, he kind of aborted mission there. Oh, what a job by Honky Tonk, man. Eliminating Akeem. And now the Honky Tonk Man. Trying to go after Hogan, but it's a smart move by the Honky Tonk Man. Oh wow, what a job there by Martel. Eliminating Earthquake. And now Michaels. No, no. Oh no. Shawn Michaels. Again, does not last as long as I thought he should. And he is done. Rick Martel is on fire here. Rick Martel now working up against the Honky Tonk Man. Hogan. Is he going to? Oh, yeah. He's going to slam him. No. Nice shot by the Honky Tonk Man. Takes him out. But then on the receiving end of a big boot. And now Martel to the corner. Oh, man. Could Barbarian do it? Who is coming in now? Ravishing Rick Rude. Ravishing Rick Rude at 28. Oh, man. Oh, yes. Now Rick Rude. He is fresh. He is ready. Oh, nice job sliding off the back of Hogan. And now, oh, what happened there? Hogan kicked him in the face. And now Hogan going right after Martel, disrupting... Rick Rue's attack here. And Rick Rue doesn't know what to do, man. Simply ravaging. 
I want to take a moment right now to address all you fat, out of shape, Orlando, Florida corn dogs. <laughs> Keep the noise down <laughs> while I take off, take my robe off and show you all what a real man looks like. Hit that music. Look at Hercules. He's looking like he's in the best shape of his life. One of the members of the power and glory as he eliminated Martel. And we got one more entry. Oh, there goes Rick Rude. One final entry. And it's perfect. Mr. Perfect. And remember, when this rumble actually happened, Perfect and Hogan were in at the end. And are we going to see Mr. Perfect, one of the greatest athletes of all time, in there to face Hulkamania here? We don't know. Hercules may change things. Is Hercules throwing up Hogan? Holy cow, man. Nice job there by the Honky Tonk Man working on that arm. Hogan taking a bit of a breather. This is a smart move by Hogan. Let these four fight each other. Let these four eliminate each other. And then Hogan will come back when the time is right. But right here, Barbarian trying to fend off. Perfect. And Herc. Oh, nice job there by Barbarian. And a great job by Hercules fighting off the Hulkster. The Hulkster, a knee to the midsection, but countered by Hercules. And let's see, oh, nice job sliding off the back into a DDT. And now perfect dropping down for a Ric Flair figure four. Look at that, that's gonna suck the life. That's definitely gonna suck the life out of the Honky Tonk Man. Now Hogan, oh, Hogan. Did not seem like he um, gained enough momentum there on the swing for that slam. And that cost him. Oh, a nice neck breaker by the Honky Tonk Man. Now, Honky's got to be careful. Hogan's slowly getting to his feet. How's that bandana still on? How is that ben bandana still on his head? And now, Honky Tonk Man, he's going to just, this whole arena will go bonkers. If he can eliminate Hulk Hogan. Oh no, perfect now, getting thrown to the corner. Barbarian going after Honky Tonk. Oh, and he eliminated him. Wow, what force. What strength. Oh, and now, <laughs> perfect on the receiving end of a leg drop. Hogan not letting him rest. This is smart move by Hogan. And now, no. Oh, nice hip toss. I don't know how perfect Stayed in there after that attempt to the, the ropes there by the Hulkster. And now perfect. Oh, wow, man. getting Just getting his head snapped right there. And now this could be the end for perfect. Oh, nice counter elbow by perfect. Perfect's got to use his technical wrestling. He can't go power for power against a guy like Hercules. Oh, no. Oh, man. Oh, that's interesting. But perfect. Oh, thanks so much for the sub. I appreciate that. But perfect had Hercules hurt, man. Now he slams him. Oh, he keeps on getting other bodies in the way of him. Oh, a nice knee to the back by Hogan. And then Hogan with an uppercut. And look at Hercules. Oh, knee right to the midsection. And Hogan says no way. In this game, can you get Hogan to Hulk up? Remember in previous wrestling games, you could hit a button and then Hogan would Hulk up. I don't know um, if you could do that in this game. Let me know if you know the fine details. Is there a button that you could hit where he just starts to Hulk up? That'd be cool to see. But anyway, back to the action. Basically, you have one baby face inside this ring, and it's Hulk Hogan. And now, perfect. Falling asleep. He's recovered. But Hogan, oh, he's eliminated him. That's like how it ended. Remember? That's how it ended. He pointed, and then he eliminated Mr. Perfect. But now Hogan's got to deal with Hercules. He's got to deal with Barbarian. 
a lot of muscle inside this ring. And I don't think Hogan has what it takes, do you? We gotta wait and see. We gotta wait and see what happens as now Hogan looking at Barbarian. Oh, he's going for it. Look at this. Hulk Hogan not wasting any time. And are we gonna see a Hercules Hogan final? This is a great final. Hercules and Hogan. The battle of the muscle. These superhuman individuals are meeting in the end. And Hogan seems to be in control as Hercules needs to find a way to mount an offense. There he goes. All takes his one shot to the breadbasket. And he's eliminated him. He shocked the world. Hercules has won the 1990 Rumble. Yeah, you know what? That's what I want to see, man. I want to see randomness. I want to see unthinkable moments. And we saw that right here. Hercules wins this rumble. Man, didn't look like he was going to do it. Hogan was on fire, but he found a way. And I cannot wait to see you guys in the comments. And I cannot wait to make more of these videos bringing back nostalgic memories of our past, man. Cannot wait. But anyway, this is Ricky J. If you haven't subscribed, man, please subscribe. It means so much to me. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and much love.